Hey, my name is Mark Rice, and I love to create simple game characters, and this is my last one. Do you like it? Cool, because I want to share with you my animation process, step by step. And if you want, you can download my illustration for free. Just check out the link below. So, let's start. Okay, so first I need to import the file. So, go here in the project tab, click with the right mouse button, then import, file, Okay, pick up your file, import, then select composition and layer size and click OK. Okay, cool. Here I have my composition, double click on it. I need 8 frames for the duration of the animation, so go here in the composition, then composition settings, okay, and here type 9 because I want one frame extra just in case okay cool now I will cut this one frame okay like this and that's it before I start I need to change the anchor points and parent the right shapes so go here and select pen behind tool then the move the anchor point for the arm. Okay. And for the second arm as well. For the body. Okay. And for this antenna here. Okay, cool. Now I selected the back arm layer, hold control button on the keyboard, then select front arm, antenna and parent these layers with the body. Usually I parent the legs as well, but in this case I don't need that, so I will skip that. Okay. Let me check, everything is okay, so we can start. So first I will animate the body. To select the body layer, then hit R on the keyboard for the rotation settings. And here I will type minus 4. Okay. Create the first keyframe on the first frame. Okay. Then here in the middle of the animation I will create second keyframe. And it will be 4. Okay, and for the last keyframe, I will copy the first keyframe. Control C, Control V. Select the keyframes and hit F9 for the smooth animation. So for now, we have. Oh, okay, <laughs> cool. Now the antenna. So I will select the antenna layer, hit R on the keyboard, and create the first keyframe, it will be, I don't know, maybe minus 15, okay, maybe minus 30, hmm, much better, here will be just 30 without minus, and I will copy the first keyframe, F9, okay, Cool. This can be even better if I move the layer a bit. But before that I will create an expression for this layer. So hold Alt on the keyboard and hit this stopwatch icon. Ok, here type loop out brackets and ping pong. Ok, now I think that I can delete the last keyframe and it will be ok. Let me check. Ok, cool. Now I will change the position of the layer. Ok, it's interesting now and much better. Cool. Beautiful. Now I will animate the front arm. So hit R on the keyboard. Create a keyframe. Oops. I changed my anchor point. I don't know why. Let me check this. Mm, 
Now it's okay. Okay. What is it? it can be 30. Here will be minus 30. And copy the first keyframe. Select the keyframes and hit F9. Okay, cool. And I will repeat the process with the back arm. Okay, the anchor point is okay, so hit air on the keyboard. Here will be 30 as well. Or minus 30. Okay. Then 30 and copy the first keyframe. Okay. F9. <laughs> and we are ready for the party. Because now I will show you how to animate the legs. Okay. Actually, it's very easy. First, I will select these layers and hit P on the keyboard for the position settings. Okay. Then create the first keyframe on the first frame. Select the right leg and move it here. Okay. Then go on the fourth frame. Select the legs and move it here. Okay, so this is the first step. But before I finish the step, I will copy the first keyframes. Okay, select the keyframes and hit F9. Okay, beautiful dance, but I don't want dance, I want walking. So, this is the trick. I need to swap the first and the second keyframe. Okay, and the last one will be the same, so I will copy it again. Okay, so this is the second step. And now I have something like this. And the last step. Click here. And move the leg up. And I will do that with the second leg, but on the second frame. Okay, something like this. Let me check this out. Okay, beautiful. I like it. And now the ground. Okay, but before I start with the ground animation, I will convert this file to the vectors. So select the layer, click with the right mouse button, and hit create shapes from vector layers. Okay, now I can delete my original layer. And let me check. Okay. Mm -hmm. I can change the size. Okay. I'm playing with the size because I need the extra part of the ground here, outside of the main composition. Okay, but it's okay now. Create the first keyframe for the position settings. Okay, and the last keyframe. Move it. Okay. But I need to swap the position of the keyframes. And now it's okay. Okay, that's it for today. And I hope that you like it. If you like it, download that illustration for free and try it. It's easy. And stay tuned because the best is yet to come. Oh yeah. Peace.